Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 3 whole to the power 4 plus x plus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 16. We need to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This 3, this 3 can be written as 2 plus 1 and this 1 can be written as this 1 can be written as 2 minus 1. So we write this x plus 3 whole to the power 4 as x plus 2 plus 1 whole to the power 4 plus we write this x plus 1 whole to the power 4 as x plus 2 minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 16. Now here we have x plus 2 and here we have x plus 2. So we suppose that let x plus 2 is equal to m and we substitute m in place of this x plus 2 and in place of this x plus 2. Then this equation will become m plus 1 whole to the power 4 plus m minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 16. Now this uh, m plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m plus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 plus this m minus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m minus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 is equal to 16. Now by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, 2ab plus b squared. This uh, m plus 1 whole squared will become m squared plus uh, 2 times m plus 1 whole to the power this power 2 plus by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This uh, m minus 1 whole squared will become m squared minus 2 times m plus 1 whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 16. Now this expression can be written as m squared plus 1 plus 2 times m whole squared plus this expression can be written as m squared plus 1 minus 2 times m whole squared is equal to 16. Now here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have 2m and here we have 2m. So we suppose that uh, let a is equal to m squared plus 1 and b is equal to 2 times m. When we substitute a and b in this equation then this equation will become a plus b whole squared plus a minus b whole squared is equal to 16. Now this a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared plus this a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 16. Now this uh, negative 2ab will be cancelled out with this positive 2ab. In this uh, 1a squared plus this 1a squared 2a squared. In this 1b squared plus this 1b squared plus 2b squared is equal to 16. 
Now from these two terms we can factor out 2. 2 as a common factor in bracket left a squared plus b squared is equal to 16. Now from here we divide both sides of this equation by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and the left hand side we are left with a squared plus b squared is equal to 16 divided by 2 a. Now we replace uh, this a with this m squared plus 1 we replace this b with 2 times mm. then this equation will become m squared plus 1 whole squared this square will come here plus uh, in place of b we write this 2 times m 2 times m whole squared this square will come here is equal to 8 now this uh, m squared plus 1 whole squared is equal to m to the power 4 plus uh, 2 times m squared plus 1 plus uh, this uh, 2m whole squared is equal to 4m squared. When we move this uh, 8 to the left side, this becomes negative 8 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, m to the power 4 can be written as uh, m squared whole squared plus uh, this uh, 2m squared plus uh, this 4m squared 6m squared and uh, plus 1 minus 8 negative 7 is equal to 0. Now here we have m squared and here we have m squared. So we suppose that let t is equal to m squared and we substitute t in this equation then this equation will become t squared plus uh, 6 times t minus 7 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this t squared t squared and we split this uh, plus uh, 6 times t as we split this uh, plus 6 times t as uh, minus 1t plus 7t uh, minus this 7 is equal to 0 from these two terms uh, we can factor out t t as a common factor and in bracket left t minus 1 plus uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 7 7 as common factor in bracket left t minus 1 is equal to 0 Now this expression t minus 1, this expression t minus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, t minus 1 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left uh, this t in this plus 7, in bracket left uh, t plus 7 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 7 is equal to 0. From this equation t is equal to 1 and from this equation t is equal to negative 7. Now we replace uh, this t and this t with this m squared. Then this equation will become m squared is equal to 1 and this equation will become m squared is equal to negative 7. Now to find the value of m we take square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of m is equal to plus or minus 1. So from here we get two values of m. m is equal to 1 and m is equal to negative 1. Now we take square root of both sides of this equation. At left hand side we take square root and right hand side we take square root. This square will be cancelled out with this square root 
and from here m will be equal to plus or minus this is square root of negative 7 can be written as a square root of 7 times i. Now to find the values of x recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x plus 2 is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, x plus 2 is equal to m. First uh, in this equation we put the value of m 1 then this equation will become x plus 2 is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 minus 2 and x will be equal to negative 1. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now in this equation we put this value of m negative 1, then this equation will become x plus 2 is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 1 minus 2 and x is equal to negative 3 this is the second value of x this is the second solution of this equation now in this equation we put this value of m plus minus root 7 i then this equation will become x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus root 7 i and we move this plus 2 to the right hand side then this will become x is equal to negative 2 plus minus root 7 i. These are the third and fourth value of x. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.